Uh, I'm Miloš Kurenčiak, and I'll, I'm last, and I'll be short. Uh, I, wanted, I wanted to say something about Virtual Envy. I don't know whether you know uh, Virtual Envy isn't just for Python. Uh, I want to show you it is not just for Python. You simply can check whether you are uh, in active Virtual Envy by this, for example. Uh, then you can install this one package which will be appreciated, I think, especially uh, by your friends who code in Node.js. And it's, it's Python package for them. So, so you can install it. Uh, and then when you run that package this way, it will install Node env, uh, Node.js environment into your virtual env. And it is uh, pretty functional. Uh, and then you can use, for example, npm inside and install any package you need. Uh, it is uh, at all uh, isolated and uh, uh, if you know virtual and you can uh, prepare it uh, in a relocate table uh, to be able to relocate it, uh, to make it system independent and so on. And this also applies for Node.js. Uh, then, then you can install any packages inside and try it. I can try, it, try them inside uh, uh, Jupyter because it is blocking. But let's try it, for example, in console. OK. That's it. Now uh, I have run um, some Node.js code and we can check it, for example, in here. This is the code and we can check it, okay, we can check it by this and it's working. So what I, want, what I wanted to say what language will be next? Maybe the virtual and will be once uh, like Jupyter language independent. Thank you. <laughs>